Matt Maley is with us, Managing Director, Chief Market Strategist at Miller Tabak and Company, also founder of the Maley Report. Thank you so much. Um, you know, it was a matter of time. I mean, I think the three trillion mark is a fun one to watch. Um, Apple did it. Now Microsoft did it. Your thoughts? I mean, what happens for the rest of 2024 for Microsoft? Well, obviously, uh, you know, it's it, it's a great. Uh, uh, whatever achievement, I guess, uh, to, to say. But, you know, the, the thing is, uh, with this whole uh, issue and euphoria surrounding AI, uh, even if they continue to move higher, even if Microsoft continues to move higher, and I think it has more upside potential than Apple right now, um, it won't happen in a straight line. I mean, the, the, the stock has had this huge move, as you mentioned, Nicole, and uh, I'm getting a little worried about this getting a little bit over uh, overbought on a technical basis and getting uh, uh, quite expensive as well. So, um, it's just something that, that, you know, again, I think it bodes very well over the long term. It's an incredibly well managed company. Uh, and, uh, uh, but again, I just, you know, people, you know, I hope people already own it. Uh, but if they want to add to it a little bit more, I, I think you might be able to get a, a little bit better of a, a, uh, uh, an entry point or, or an entry point or re-entry point, I should say, uh, or place to add on uh, at, at some point in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. And so what would be some of the drivers of something like Microsoft, which you said you like more, you like Microsoft more than Apple at this time, but what would be a driver or catalyst that would move a name like Microsoft even higher today at 405? Well, you know, again, it, 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 it's, it's trading. It's way more expensive than it was back at, at the t at the high in 2020. Uh, I'm sorry, at 2021, uh, just before, of course, it rolled over. But at the same time, this whole uh, 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 belief in what AI can do and what will, what it will do in the years ahead uh, is is something that's I think going to be the main driver. Um, the, the one thing though that we do have to be careful of in, uh, is that uh, again. Uh, we're trading at what was it 36 37 times earnings which is is quite expensive uh it's getting very overbought on a near term basis and you know even the you know, we go back to apple when apple was really in its heyday in 2021 rallying in you know, you know in, a, in, a, in a straight line it still saw four pullbacks of anywhere from 10 to 20 over 20% uh, so uh, I get worried that we'll get one big more pop, one more pop after after Microsoft reports, and then it may actually ch start to uh, pull back a little bit. Remember the the whole uh, uh, euphoria or whatever you want to call it surrounding AI uh, did uh, dissipate for you know for several months there last year uh, from late summer into early fall, and stocks like Nvidia fell a full twenty percent. So again, we need to be careful about about chasing these names uh, up at these levels. I just want to you know good risk management here for right now. Yeah. Um, like so many tech companies, more and more layoffs. In this case, Microsoft is uh, announcing layoffs in the video game business after this acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Um, tell me a little bit about that. I see the 1,900 employees, that's what they're cutting. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, you know it's almost 10% uh, of, of that area of their business. And so that seems to be, oh, geez, what's wrong? But at the same time, they just, you know, they just, you know, closed this acquisition uh, late last year. Uh, and what frequently happens in these type of situations, uh, when you bring on, a, a, you know, a, when, it, when it could be any company, not just Microsoft, any company uh, takes over another one, uh, you know, there's cer certain redundancies where people are doing the kind of the same thing. Uh, so layoffs are, are are something I think that was was to be expected when this news came out yesterday. The stock didn't really dip much, dip much at all, uh, and I think that because people knew this was this was likely going to happen. And so it's not something that, uh, even though I'm a little cr cr uh, cautious on the stock near term, just because it's had such a great run, this is not one of the issues that concerns me at all. I just think it was something that was was kind of inev inevitable, and I'm afraid it's something that happens uh, whenever uh, these kind of mergers or takeovers take place. Yeah, and, you know, and generally, I mean, it's a dividend payer, so the shareholders have been uh, pretty happy over the okay. last uh more than a decade. Um, and actually, Deutsche Bank today raising Microsoft's price target to 450 from 415, folks, uh, maintaining that buy rating. What tech names do you like? Because you are concerned that maybe Microsoft is a little um, toppy. Do you have tech names that you do like or recommend for 2024? Well, well, I mean, uh, the whole sector obviously continues to act extremely well, and I do think that uh, what some of those that got beaten up a little bit, like Lamb Research, uh, got beaten up this week uh, due to the uh, 
um, you know, their earnings report, which is a little bit off base. But the other one I, I do like, and I think, again, you don't want to be stepping to the plate and buying it now, but as I still like the story on Intel. This is a stock that I've liked on a long-term basis for two years now. And you think about it, Intel, I mean, people talk about, remember when the banks were too big to, uh, I'm sorry, were, were, were too big to fail. Well, Intel is too important not to succeed. I mean, they have this situation where, you know, the, the, we have, you know, what's going on between uh, Taiwan and China is a big problem. Uh, and if, if for some reason that became uh, a much bigger problem and suddenly we weren't getting the chips from Taiwan, which is Taiwan Semiconductor gives us 25% of our chips, we're in big trouble. So they, the government's going to help <laughs> Intel succeed because it's, it's a national security issue. So on a longer term basis, don't be afraid to keep buying Intel on, on, the, on this big dip we're seeing today. Again, you don't want to necessarily back up the truck, uh, but I love it on a longer term basis. All right. And as you said, uh, pulling back today, so that gives you some opportunity. Matt Maley, thank you. Miller, Tayback and Company. Good to see you, Matt.